Hello, good morning. It's Friday the 23rd. I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. So Sunak's been on. He almost doubled the Covid support in a move that's been widely welcomed. Of course, in Parliament, the opposition claimed it's too little too late. Well, they would say that, wouldn't they? They're the opposition. Um, Brexit negotiators are getting down to business again. Uh, it sounds like this time the plan is to start with a little group therapy, uh, working through what they have agreed together so far. Presumably this aims to bring positivity to the room, remembering how far they've come together. Uh, but it doesn't really change the way forwards, where the same old issues will need the real work and the same old issues will need the compromise. Uh, there was a rumour that December the 31st as a deadline could be extended. But can you imagine Boris agreeing to that? After all his British bulldog belligerence and bluster, that would be quite a U-turn for him to stomach. Uh, don't hold your breath on that one then. Um, the market didn't seem to like Sunak's extra support, uh, perhaps a little concerned over the debt to GDP ratio uh, reaching uh, 100 in the UK. Sterling fell back and we open around 130.50 against the dollar today. Um, in the US there are only 11 days left, 46 million votes have already been cast and the final presidential debate went ahead last night under the threat of the mute button. Uh, Trump poked into the Hunter Biden scandal, Biden poked back over Trump's tax returns, but it was COVID-19 that really heated up the debate. Um, Biden believes that a further lockdown may be needed, while of course Trump wants to reopen the country for business. Um, away from the political circus, weekly jobless data improved. Uh, new claims dropped about 50,000 to 787,000 new claims and continuing claims dropped about a million down to 8.3 million. But the economy is still facing a tough time ahead with that support bill no nearer agreement and almost 80,000 new cases of Covid reported yesterday. Uh, meanwhile, the euro is struggling to hold on to gains and that 119 level was a stretch too far for it yesterday. Instead, we corrected and euro dollar pulled back. Uh, we open around 118 this morning. Uh, whew, it's getting a bit muddy, a bit slippery on the tracks. So I may have to change my route next week. Have a wonderful weekend and do join me again on Monday. All the best. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.